President Joko Widodo is releasing a package of six economic policies to improve the country's economy and stabilize the rupiah, which has been falling against the dollar for weeks. They come into effect next month. While many of the policies have been debated publicly over the past months, two were only agreed on in a meeting at the presidential office shortly before they were announced. They are, firstly, for exporters of some commodities to submit letters of credit in which banks guarantee that payment will be made to an exporter if stated terms are met. That applies to mining output, coal, oil and gas and crude palm oil. Second, the merger of two state-owned reinsurance companies, Riasuransi International Indonesia and Asai Riasuransi Indonesia, to create one large national firm. Coordinating Economy Minister Sofian Jalil says the creation of such a large firm would mean Indonesian insurers would not have to pay premiums to foreign reinsurance companies. Those are mostly paid in dollars. President Jokowi's administration will see four other policies come into action. They include tax breaks for foreign companies that reinvest their profits in Indonesia and Indonesian companies that export at least 30 percent of their production. The national shipyard industry is also exempt from value-added tax, part of a wider maritime push. Pajak, atau yang kita kenal dengan tax allowance, untuk perusahaan yang melakukan uh, investasi apa namanya, dividennya diri invest di Indonesia, kemudian perusahaan yang menciptakan lapangan kerja, kemudian perusahaan yang apa namanya mempunyai ekspor oriented dan perusahaan-perusahaan yang melakukan R&D ya itu akan mendapatkan tax allowances. The government is also applying a temporary anti-dumping import duty as part of efforts to narrow the current account deficit. It's also pursuing a separate strategy to boost the use of biofuel from 10% of total fuel consumption to 15%. Jokowi's administration will also waive visas for nationals from 45 countries, up from 30, as it looks to boost tourism numbers and the foreign currency that brings. 15 negara. Oleh karenanya dengan ditambah 30 ini, total kita menjadi 45 negara yang bebas visa. Nah, kita harapkan dari kebijakan ini nanti pelayanan kita akan bagus karena orang kalau mau ke Indonesia tidak perlu pusing lagi dengan visa. Yang kedua, jumlahnya akan meningkat. Kita harapkan akan ada tambahan sekitar 1 juta wisman. Yang kalau dikonversi ke rupiah atau ke dolar itu sekitar 1 miliar dolar. Karena 1 wisman itu sebenarnya 1.200. Saya main shift 1.000 aja itu 1 miliar dolar per tahun. The entire package comes into force in April. President Jokowi says that although the policies are long-term measures, he hopes its impact can be felt as soon as possible.